Hey everybody, welcome back for another video where I went shopping. Shock of shocks. All right, so actually I went to Marshall's and did a little bit of Christmas shopping. And then of course I had to look at the women's section. I found a few pieces of clothing. One of them I've been really looking for, so I was pretty excited. And before I started wearing stuff, I wanted to at least do a quick video. So the first thing, and I'll probably try these on too. First thing I wanted to show was a flannel, which it's not super exciting, but I've been wanting one. Whoa, I am looking washed out. Let me, uh, a little better. Some white balance thing happening here. Wow. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Anyway, here it is. I liked that it was black and like a whitish gray but also i don't know if you can tell it's got like little silver threads going through it i really like that um the only thing is i keep getting paranoid since i've lost a little over 40 pounds in the last i guess 10 or 11 months and i keep getting paranoid getting anything smaller than extra large i know like i'm about a 12 14 but like on top i'm definitely like generally a large not an extra large these days so I did get an extra large in this because I kept getting worried that it wasn't going to be loose and it was going to be tight in the wrong places. And I feel like it's too big. But I also kind of like the way it fits through the shoulder area. So I might alter um, the midsection. I'm not a great sewer, but I've done that before because I like things that kind of skim in through this area just a little bit more fitted so i'm gonna try that i'll show you what it looks like on though but this is beach lunch lounge which is a brand that stitch fix carries and it was 19.99 which i think a stitch fix is like 64 maybe 48 but it's definitely not 19.99 so that's a pretty cool shirt um i like the idea of like wearing it over a dress and kind of giving it that grunge look with a pair of boots i know shocking um <clears throat> Uh, this shirt is from a brand called Mine. I've never heard of it, but it's a brush knit top and it has a little tie at the waist. This definitely reminds me of something that Stitch Fix would have. Um, and I probably wouldn't have gravitated towards it except for, I'm sorry, but it has lavender and that's like by far my favorite color. Um, it needs like another color to offset it or it can just look a little bit juvenile. So I thought it looked kind of cool with this, um, dark oatmeal gray type of background and, um, we're sitting around the house a lot, so I figured this would be a good sitting around the house kind of thing. I turned the light again. I don't know what's going on. I'm recording this through the YouTube studio, and I have never done that before, so I might have to scrap this whole thing. We'll see how it all works out. I'm gonna. It's like every time I give myself just a little bit of light, it goes like crazy bright. We're gonna keep on pushing forward though, because fashion, clothing, never sleeps, <laughs> or something. Um, all right, so Lucky Brand. I've been kind of feeling Lucky Brand. Like sometimes it's a little hippy dippy, <clears throat> little boho for my vibe, but um, I've been liking embroidery lately and the fact that this is on pink. Again, one of my favorite colors. You probably don't see me in a lot of pink. You see me in a lot of black, maybe some jewel tones, um, but I like this. And full long sleeves, also with the detail on the end of the sleeves. Um, and it's kind of like, um, a waffle knit like sort of a thermally feel but like a lighter thermal so I thought this would be cute with like my fuzzy vest or something over it and then the last thing I picked up for myself I swear I did buy gifts for other people you guys um, was another shirt from Lucky also in that same kind of fabric this one was on clearance oh god I'm like a million miles a minute here um, that was only 12 bucks. I mean, and I can return that. So yes, Discount Fashion Warehouse has them for six, but then I end up, you know, finding that it's got a stain or something on it and I can't take it back. So this one was 10, also from Lucky in this really amazing cobalt color. And I always go, ooh, cool tones, my skin. Um, this is a cool tone and it looks pretty good against my skin tone. So here is a little breakdown of why I'm always looking at cool tones like that. So I'm a winter. My natural hair color is like a dark, dark brown, like almost black. And I warm my skin up quite a bit with like bronzer and stuff. I have a very light olive tone, <clears throat> which is neutral in the color scheme, color wheel. And that actually makes me a winter. So with winters, you look good in cool tones and you look good with high contrast. So <clears throat> white and beige and like pale colors, unless they're like 
a vibrant pale color will wash me out. Vibrant colors and deep colors are definitely better, but deep colors that are like muted are more for autumns. So that's gonna be like your burgundies and your olives. I gravitate towards those too because I warm my skin up a lot with bronzers. So anyway, this type of color is truly what I should be wearing. This against like black or, you know, reds or whatever, like vibrant colors or black um, are really supposed to be my best colors. So um, yeah, if you want low contrast but cool tone, that'd be summer. So if I had um, slightly, I guess, like some blonde highlights in my hair and a little bit less olive in my skin, a little pinker skin tone, I guess I would be considered a summer. I'm probably closest to summer out of the other seasons, but I'm very much a winter. Um, so if you've ever done the Color Me Beautiful thing, I didn't know I was gonna be getting into that today, but here we are. <laughs> anyway. Does anybody else remember Color Me Beautiful? It's very 80s. Like I was obsessed with that Color Me Beautiful book. My mom had like the hard copy and I would just obsess about those color schemes and what everybody looked like and their makeup and their outfits and the names of the colors. It's a really fun piece of work. I don't know how much of it holds up, but I do think that, you know, the high contrast, cool tones, it still works for me. So there was something to it. <clears throat> All right, um, I'm gonna try these on. I just have on a pair of jeans. Oh, and another thing, last time I was cutting everything on the bottom up and I had to hold up my pants really high and I wasn't able to figure out why the heck in other videos I had enough room in my studio. Well, it turns out I have a lot of head space. So, hi, much better. Yeah, there's my belly. Anyway, um, so that's how, if I back up, and turn on the light back here, you'll actually be able to see what it looks like head to toe. I'm aware of that now. I will make that change and I'm sorry, I won't do it again. All right, be back with first look. Hey, I'm gonna angle this down a little bit. The lighting is so weird, you guys. I don't know what's up. I look blue. <laughs> like just because I'm wearing blue, it's like having a really hard time with this light balance. Okay, I am going to angle it a little bit further down. So this is that last shirt. I guess I'll just work my way backwards um, from Lucky Brand. And I thought I would try it on with a mustard color sweater. This is a Stitch Fix sweater from the brand Love Ellie. They have a few different brands. Paper Moon, I think, does these. Um mixed by 41 Hawthorne. I don't know, I'm probably getting them all mixed up. I write them out so many times, all the, like almost every day. Um, yeah, so I think this looks cute. This fit exactly how I expected. Kind of dips down over my belly. I like that, it's my preference. Um, although sometimes I do like crop stuff with like looser bottoms. Um, cute though, right? Like high contrast, even though this is a warm tone, I think I think it's fine. I think it's fine without two. Um, so the other shirt's gonna fit exactly like it, but full long sleeves. Um, you might wanna go check out Marshall's, the um, clearance. Why am I umming a lot? The clearance rack though, is where I got both of those lucky shirts for 10 and 12 bucks. I don't know why they were different prices. Maybe one came out a season before. No matter, 10 and $12, really great deals. Um, so I'm gonna try on the pink one next. Be right back. All right, here's the pink one. Nothing too different or too new, but I do love how it's got this detailing on it. Um, it feels like, sorry about that, like a super basic, um, really good everyday type of shirt. I keep wanting to put hands in my pockets and I don't have pockets. I have like these little decorative bits. They're actually like, they look like a horse's bit. Um, that same kind of dip down curved hem. I like it, super easy. These jeans might be a little bit too fitted. I am so between a 12 and a 14, you guys. All right, so I think the color is soft and pretty. I do have a pretty dramatic makeup look on today, you know, cause you gotta go all out when you're sitting around your living room working for Stitch Fix. All right, <laughs> I don't know what that was. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, I've got the Fate. No, that doesn't sound right. What does it say here? 
I can't read it. Can you read it? Move more? Um, I should move more. So a little bunny ear ding dingle dangles down there. It's a little blousin. But you know what? I'm going to wear this just like sitting around the house. I'll wear this with joggers. Um, I could definitely see that kind of thing. This is not really for a look, but you know, comfortable, casual. I will probably sleep in this too because there are a lot of days where I'm just like, deuces going to bed and what I'm wearing because I'm wearing so much comfortable casual stuff. Um, all right. I think this is good. Nothing earth shattering. Um, so be back with another one. Here's my last shirt. Um, the brand on the last one, by the way, is mine. I knew it was a four letter M word. Um, so this one is, oh my gosh, my dog, I left her outside. She won't bark to come in. All right, I'm gonna go get her in just a second. Um, she's fine. This is a little bit roomy, but this is what I was talking about. I might just take it in, like nip it in just a little bit here so that it'll just sit a little bit more flattering. Or I might just wear it like men's shirt style, like super big and voluminous. Again, I'm just hanging at home mostly, but this will be cute to tie around the waist. And I would also like pop um, a sweater over it, usually more like a pullover. I have a bunch of pullovers that are pretty cute that I want to do like a little pullover tour and could also do a cardigan over it. This feels a little collegiate though to wear the cardigan with it. Let me see. And whenever I do yellow and black together, I feel like I'm trying to look like a bee. Not my favorite color combo, but with the white in it, it does kind of break it up a little bit. Um, yeah, this isn't my vibe. It's fine. It's fine. If this is your vibe, it's not bad. Um, okay. I'm going to wrap up. I'll be right back. All right. Just wanted to wrap up. Let me tilt this down a little bit more. Instead of coming to you in the outfit I had on in the first shot, I have a dress I haven't had any opportunity to wear and I thought it was really cute. It's from um, Ann Taylor Loft, but of course I got it at Discount Fashion Warehouse. And it's this really pretty deep blue and it's got a little bit of green and some more cobalt color and like cranberry, very velvety and little flutter sleeves and it's got a little flutter bottom hem and I'm wearing it with um, some cranberry-ish tights and some camel colored boots and a mustard hat to kind of tie the yellowish vibe together. Um, I just wanted an opportunity to wear the dress, I'm not going to lie. I miss getting dressed. Many of you are probably enjoying your joggers and your leggings. Um, I miss getting dressed up. So anyway, wrapping up, um, Marshall's Hall, just wanted to share that with you. Um, if I make an alteration to that flannel type shirt, I will share it with you. I may or may not. I don't know. Haven't decided yet, but um, I, I am going to keep it though because I've been looking for something just like it and I like the color way. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everybody who has subscribed. If you haven't, make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment and like it so that more people can find this. I really enjoy making these videos and hope you enjoy watching. Bye, you guys.